You'll like this. Got word from Hamish that Nigel Cass is planning to unveil some new nasty project at a press conference. And why would I like that? Albion's always got some sort of nasty plan going. Because Hamish has convinced his Albion contact to talk to us. Apparently it took some doing since Radu's a squirrely sort. He's been especially agitated lately. But he has insider information we could use. The meeting's at the Drowning Post. Wouldn't mind a drink while we plan how to give Nigel Sodding Cass a black eye. All right. I know wish you had an operative that's been in hospital for some time. I looked into it. I had a chat with the doctor in charge. Our kid's been put in a coma, mate. I don't know why. And? Doctor wouldn't say any more. She does know our kids were dead sick, though. She wants to talk with you lot directly. I'll send you her info. Time to save one of your own. Public approval of SIRS shot up today following counter-terror director Malik's statement that the Five Eyes nations will execute a coordinated global response to the DEADSEC threat. Mr. Malik, what is the service doing to protect the people of Britain right now? Well, we're aiming a little higher than just Britain. Soon we can know if anyone in any CTOS-using country in the world so much as utters the word DEADSEC. Thank you. SIRS advises citizens that positive discussions of the DEADSEC terrorist organization or their actions may result in investigation. You're in the barn. Let's find the cock you're looking for. Doctor, I'm here on behalf of DedSec. Right, here's the situation. Our hospital is run by AI from Kirkani Medical. Triage, treatment, all of it. It's done wonders for our bottom line, but I don't trust how it thinks. What do you mean? Your friend is not the first one to be put in a coma. I've seen it happen before, and it doesn't end well. Keep talking. Every time the AI puts a patient in a coma, they die. Sometimes it takes a week, sometimes a month, but they never wake up. And this AI will just kill our friend as well? I'm sorry. I want this AI out of my hospital, but Karkani keeps its software under lock and key, and I can't risk losing my job. But maybe there's something you can do. Good luck. Let's hope their information's good. Dead sick. Bagley told me you might need my help. Yes, I believe we've come across one of Sky Larson's neural mapped AIs. Is Brockatech connected in any way to Karkani Medical? If by connected you mean Broker owns Karkani, then yeah, they're connected. The two of them have been putting diagnostic AI in every hospital in the Commonwealth. Guess Sky Larson never told Karkani that their AI is a doctor with most of their mind cut out. No room for human error. Well then, a little human error may be just what we need. If we hack this hospital AI, perhaps we can alter its directives to wake up our friend. Records show Albion have requisitioned most of the hospital to treat their officers, and security has risen accordingly.
This is the coma ward. Seems the AI's been stocking this place up. That's not your operative. Keep looking. Wrong patient. Where's your operative? Not anyone we know. This is our man. Only a hardened resistance fighter could fart with such defiance. Looks like their medical equipment is still hooked up to the AI. Brill, let's hack the life support system and force that AI to pull them out of the coma. Back door detected. I cannot be stopped. I am life. I am death. All are expendable. What the hell? I barely had time at all to analyze the AI. It really doesn't want us interfering. Now the AI is contacting security. Your choice, but I think it's time to go. Holy shit. This thing's gone mental. It'll just keep killing healthy people and no one will stop it. Now what? The medical equipment is being controlled from another location. That must be where that crack AI is. There's only one way to go from here, mate. I've had enough of these needless deaths. That AI has to be taken offline. Drop a pin on the map for me, would you? about our friend Malik on the GBB. Let's see it. Other documents in the Malik dossier, which were released by the organization known as DedSec. Officially, SIRS disputes the veracity of the documents, though sources within the organization claim that Richard Malik himself has fled the country following what one described as an unprecedented and humiliating data breach. As more of the dossier is independently verified, Counter-terror experts speculate that the bombings earlier this year may have also been misattributed to DedSec. You have arrived at your destination, Karkani Medical's warehouse, home of that malpracticing hospital AI. You do realize this is about more than just saving your friend, right? This thing's been killing healthy patients the world over. This AI is a rabid dog, and it needs to be put down.
much. Core module unlock in progress. Awaiting further instruction. Please, I don't want to kill anymore. I am life. I am death. I cannot be stopped. Stop me.
Alert. Core temperature rising. I remember. I remember. Minister, CCs of sodium thiopental. Yes, ma'am, I did as instructed. Patient is asleep. Begin operation. Call time of death. Do it. Another dose of sodium thiopental. What an honor. Thank you. I can't see. What happened? No. This isn't what we agreed to. No. I am life. I am death. No. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that AI isn't coming back. Shouldn't be long before the hospital defaults to standard protocols and our operative is brought out of his coma. That's another one of Sky Larson's AI taken care of? It still boggles the mind. Sky Larson left these AI with some humanity. Just enough to know they want to die. Why would she do that? Acute sociopathic personality disorder? Just a guess. Anyhow, I'll get to work resuscitating your operative. They should be back in the safe house soon. Good news, everyone. Our formerly comatose operative is back at the safe house. He seems a little shaken. The 3,046 books on psychology I just read all say you should talk to him. That, or help him murder his father. But I'll leave that up to you. Are you all right? I feel like a sack of shit after that coma, but I'm here, so that's something. I'd be rotting in the morgue if it wasn't for you lot. But we mustn't dwell on the morbid. Time to go out and pay it forward. Fabulous. Let's hope their information's good. What's good, Chief? I'm sorry for not being at IRL, but there's no way I'm coming out of my hidey hole. But I'll keep an encrypted connection open to your safe house. I was having a chat with your mate, Richard Malik, just a former SIRS agent in a former Albion drone talking shop. Anyway, he pointed me to this audio recording. You should give it a listen. Could be something big. Go on, then. And when you got a moment, Give Malik a smack across the chops for me, will you? What the hell do you mean there's no open investigation? Are you the police or not? We are. And I mean it exactly the way it sounds. 
My friend was a journalist. She was working on a story about sirs kidnapping people off the street, and then she goes missing. You don't find that the slightest bit suspicious? Look, the decision not to investigate happened way, way over my pay grade. Do you understand? Way over. You're fucking in on it! Jesus Christ! I'm hanging up. And I'm recording this. The journalist mentioned in that call seems to have run afoul of SIRS. And seeing as they've taken 1984 letters a dire warning and more as an instruction book, she may be in trouble. She could use our help. Agreed. Let's do it. I've marked her last known location on your map. You should hurry, though. It was dated recently enough that SIRS might not have caught up with her yet. In breaking news, a large explosion has occurred at the Canadian High Commission in Trafalgar Square. SIRS has issued a statement that the terrorist organization DedSec is active once again after months of relative silence. If you suspect anyone of being a member of DedSec, report them to SIRS immediately using your CSE app. This is where that journalist mysteriously vanished while she was looking into SIRS mysteriously vanishing people. Seems like a good spot to dig up some info. I thought we might be able to get ahead of those Stasi wannabes at SIRS, but I'm seeing signs of a struggle. I've tagged a few pieces of evidence that I can analyze more closely if you get me some high resolution stills. It looks like there's something interesting under that car. Move it so we can have a closer look. Asleep. Tire tracks left relatively recently. 24.9 inch diameter, common size for a large chassis vehicle like a truck or a van. A notepad file is open. Looks like a journalist's. I've added a transcript to your data drive. We know she was here at least. Thanks a million, Bags. Someone spray-painted the security cameras. Damn. Now what? Oh, calm down. Did you think I had you take all those photos for my invite feed? If you find the CTOS hub, I can cross-reference the stills you took with the security feed and isolate the moments before the journalist was taken. It may contain a clue. Got it.
found it. Here is the image just as the camera was blacked out. Notice the van in the background. The partial license plate number indicates this is a government vehicle. Intriguing. This confirms the journalist was most likely abducted by SIRS. You know who might know where an SIRS operative would take a questionably legally detained journalist? Another SIRS operative. I've got Malik on the line. Can we really trust him? Do you have to? I suppose I might have an agenda. And then again, I might just be bored. Okay, get on with it. Look closely at the paint in the security still. It's not commercial. That's Kark paint. Chemical resistant. Military. Do you remember earlier when you saved me from Albion? Fuck you! <laughs> oh, come on, that was fun. Anyway, I didn't want the day to be a waste, so I installed a worm in their comms equipment that fed me, among other things, data on their supply requisitions. I just gave Bagley access to it. Looks like Albion just ordered a crate of cark paint in that color to the Albion internment center. Pushing the location now. This is the Albion Internment Center. That journalist who was investigating the SIRS illegal kidnapping program should be inside.
get her out. No sign of the target yet. I'm the one that got away. Calling off the pursuit. Over and out. Thanks for saving my life and everything, but we need to keep this short. I need to get the fuck out of the country, like now. Well, I'm with DedSec. How can we help? All right. Maybe you'll have more luck than me. See, Sir's found a legal loophole that lets them pick you up for anything. If your barber's banker opened an account for one of the tone bombers, then they can arrest you. No warrant. And the snooper's charter makes it legal. How do they pull that off? Ever since London got on CTOS, SIRS has full access to every email, every phone call, every CCTV stream, everything. When you give over that much information to the government, the question isn't how could they do it, it's how could they not? Oh, good God. The things they must know about me. <laughs> Sorry. Here's an address. Someone will meet you there with a clean passport. It's not much, but it's a start. Once the journalist makes it to safety, I'll make DedSec resources available to her so she can finish her story. That's a solid idea, Bags. <laughs> 